Sulfur burns in oxygen with the blue flame producing misty fumes of sulfur 4 oxide. Sulfur 4 oxide dissolves in water. Click to play the video to observe what happens when red and blue litmus paper are placed into the solution. The oxide dissolves in water, forming sulfurous acid and sulfuric acid. Blue litmus paper turns red, while red litmus paper remains red. The oxides formed are acidic. These are examples of acidic oxides. Magnesium burns in oxygen with a very bright white flame to produce a white ash. Click to play the video to observe how magnesium burns in oxygen gas. Magnesium burns with a dazzling flame when lowered into a gas jar containing oxygen gas. A white solid is produced. This product is magnesium 2 oxide. Magnesium 2 oxide dissolves in water to form magnesium hydroxide. Click to play the video to observe what happens when blue and red litmus paper is placed into this solution.
The solid is slightly soluble in water. The red litmus paper turns blue, while the blue litmus paper remains blue. The solution formed is magnesium hydroxide. This solution is alkaline. Sodium burns with a bright yellow flame to produce sodium peroxide. Click to play the video to observe the product formed when sodium is burnt in oxygen gas. This oxide dissolves readily in water to produce oxygen gas and sodium hydroxide, which turns red litmus paper blue. This shows that the solution is alkaline. Iron burns with yellow sparks to form brown-black iron 3 oxide, which is soluble in water. Copper burns with a blue flame in a gas jar of oxygen to form black copper 2 oxide. Calcium burns vigorously in oxygen, producing a bright red flame. It forms white calcium oxide. Calcium oxide dissolves in water to form calcium hydroxide solution. Conclusion. Nonmetals burn in oxygen gas 
to form oxides which turn moist blue litmus red. Such oxides are said to be acidic. Acidic oxides can be defined as an oxide which dissolves in water to form acidic solutions. Some non-metal oxides are neutral and have no effect on moist red and blue litmus. For example, carbon-2 oxide and water. Metals burn in oxygen gas to form oxide which turn red litmus paper blue. Such oxides are said to be basic oxides of reactive metals such as sodium, potassium, magnesium, and calcium form soluble oxides which turn red litmus blue. A soluble base is called an alkali. Many metals burn in oxygen at different rates. Metals burn in oxygen faster than in air because air is made up of other constituents such as nitrogen, carbon-4 oxide, which do not support burning. When a burning magnesium ribbon on a deflagrating spoon is lowered into a gas jar containing carbon-4 oxide, a reaction takes place. When a mixture of magnesium powder and lead to oxide is heated in a crucible, the following observations are made. Observe the following reaction and note the color changes. In this reaction, magnesium removes oxygen from lead to oxide. This shows that magnesium is more reactive than lead. The magnesium oxide is a white powder. Magnesium combines with oxygen and is therefore oxidized. Lead to oxide loses oxygen and is said to be reduced. The removal of oxygen from a substance is called reduction. Addition of oxygen to a substance is called oxidation. When magnesium powder is heated in a crucible containing copper 2 oxide, a reaction takes place. In this reaction, magnesium removes oxygen from copper 2 oxide. This shows that magnesium is more reactive than copper. Magnesium oxide is a white powder. Magnesium gains oxygen and is therefore oxidized. Copper 2 oxide loses oxygen and is said to be reduced. The removal of oxygen from a substance is called reduction. Addition of oxygen to a substance is called oxidation. The substance being oxidized is called a reducing agent and the one being reduced is called the oxidizing agent. Metals can therefore be arranged from the most reactive to the least reactive. This is shown by the reactivity series. The reactivity series can be used to determine which metal can remove oxygen from other metallic oxides. Metals can therefore be arranged from the most reactive to the least reactive. Non-metals burn in air to form gaseous oxides which causes environmental pollution. Some of the harmful gaseous oxides are 1. Carbon-4 oxide 2. Carbon-2 oxide 3. Nitrogen-4 oxide 4. Sulfur-4 oxide 5. Phosphorus-3 oxide 6. Phosphorus-5 oxide all the three oxides except carbon-2 oxide dissolve in rainwater forming acidic rain 
which corrodes iron sheets and destroys plants and aquatic life. Carbon-2 oxide does not dissolve in water, but is extremely poisonous. The gaseous oxides of sulfur and phosphorus are very poisonous. Effects of acid rain. Acid rain has various effects. It destroys buildings made from iron. Click to play the video and observe how acid rain corrodes iron sheets. Acid rain also destroys stonework. Plants are also affected by acid rain. Oxygen has several uses. Respiration oxygen is used by mountain climbers. Deep sea divers use oxygen. Oxygen is also used in aeroplanes and high-flying jets. In hospitals, oxygen is administered to patients with respiratory or breathing problems. Oxygen is used in welding and cutting metals, for example, oxyacetylene flame. In explosives, a mixture of charcoal, petrol, and liquid oxygen is used as an explosive. The uses of oxygen can be summarized as follows.